Hi, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Resurrection. So just a side note, this will probably gonna be a short one because I don't really have a lot to say about the film. I still wanted to make a review because this was one that I was really excited about. I really wanted to watch this film ever since People watched it at uh, Sundance, I think. Um, so, yeah, I was really looking forward to this one. And I don't really have a lot to say for one, mainly for one reason. And, but I'll get into that. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So the best way to go into this film is to not really know much about it. I did know vaguely what it was about, so I wasn't super surprised on that aspect. Uh, so I don't think you should know a lot. So I'm gonna give you like a really, really small uh, summary of the film, which is basically the fact that this is about a woman and her life that is disrupted when someone from her past appears like resurfaces and yeah just starts like messing with her life that's what i think you should know before going into it so you have like the full experience but even if you know what it is about i'm pretty sure you're gonna be surprised with a few things so yeah Let's talk about who stars in a film, because that's pretty big. So the film starred Rebecca Hall, and I wasn't really aware of her up until The Night House. Uh, and honestly, I think she does a really great job in this one, a better one than in The Night House, in my opinion. Uh, I also think this film is better than The Night House. Um, so uh, yeah she's definitely like the main actress here the movie is almost just her but she does have like a few uh, side characters who are played by tim roth grace kaufman and michael esper i hope i'm pronouncing everyone's name right uh and but yeah she's definitely the center of the film and post there, let's get to my thoughts. So this film is quite something and I didn't know that this was getting like mixed reviews and I can totally understand why because this isn't a film for everyone. This is a super ambiguous film. It's not wrapped in a pretty bow. The end is open to interpretation and they don't tell you what it is about and what everything means and it's it's up to you to figure out what actually happened here and uh, what is real what is not and some people just don't like that and but personally i really enjoyed that i was so confused i gotta be honest like when the movie ended i had to look up like explanations for things and the thing is there's no like set in stone explanation there's not one that's right it's literally up to the viewer and th that's pretty interesting and yeah i like that everyone can come up with their own like ending and what it means obviously there's things here that are like obvious and that actually happened you know what actually is going on but there's a few things here that are just way too weird so you just have to come up with your own explanation that's pretty much it and Although I was so confused, I, as I said, I really liked it because there's so much to love here. Like, I love the message, uh, at least the one that I came up with. Uh, so I love the message. Uh, the cinematography is like really sleek. It's not overly stylized, but it's really beautiful. The score is pretty haunting and just gives the film like a really, like 
dreadful, like I said, haunting vibe to it. it. It just fits perfectly. And most of all, like, Rebecca All is amazing. Like, her acting here, as I said, is even better than in The Night House. Um, and people loved her in The Night House. I did as well, but uh, I wasn't super, super into that film. I thought it was okay. Um, in this one, yeah, she's amazing. And yeah, this wouldn't work without her performance. Maybe someone else could do a good job as well, but her performance here is amazing. There's one thing that everyone was talking about when it comes to this film and her performance, which is a monologue that she has like about 30 minutes into the film, like 30, 45 minutes into the film. And that monologue, yeah, it's great. That alone makes the film worth a watch. So yeah, even if you don't know if it's for you, just watch for that monologue because not only she does an amazing job but also it's pretty like shocking what that monologue reveals so yeah i really like that and something that i didn't really see a lot of people talk about but that i loved was the ending it's super brutal and gory and kind of like messed up it might be a little bit disturbing for some people uh but again you have to interpret what is happening so yeah but i love that uh, up until the end the film wasn't really that gory or anything it was just tension building uh, but the ending was quite something uh, also because i wasn't expecting it i was expecting it to end in like a thriller way like nothing really like super brutal but it was pretty brutal and i just love that and honestly i don't think i really have anything bad to say about the film just maybe that it wasn't like super super original like the core thing of the film there's like stuff that was surprising um, and the ending was surprising and uh, kind of, yeah, it was somewhat original um, and yeah, but I don't think there's like anything really bad to say about the film um, not that this was a perfect film but I think they did a pretty good job in all aspects so, post that, let's get to my scores so overall, I give the film a three and a half out of five. Just wasn't a four because I just wanted a bit more like maybe stylization. I don't know. I just didn't feel like it deserved a four. Maybe if I did watch it uh, in a cinema, I would give it a four. But because I watch it at home, like you lack that cinema magic that it usually makes the film better. Uh, so yeah, I know this was playing in some theaters in the US, so maybe if you do watch it in a cinema you like it more than I did, but I still really liked it. Cinematography, I give it a 3 out of 5. As I said, the cinematography is really sleek and really nice, just not like really stylized, so that's why it's a 3. And originality, I also give it a 3 out of 5 because of what I just said, like there's some aspects of the film that aren't really that original. Um, the reason why some things are happening is somewhat original and that ending is quite something, as I said, um, but I don't think the concept is really new, uh, so yeah. So, yeah guys, these are my thoughts on Resurrection. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already seen it, so let me know in the comments what you thought. Were you one of those people that really enjoyed it or you just didn't like that this just didn't have like any answers to it? Also, what are your explanation for what happened? If you want to give me like your uh, explanation of the end and what is happening just give a spoiler warning in the beginning of the comment because yeah i think that's pretty spoilery um so yeah i appreciate that and 
yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!